Chosen ones, where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video. Yes, chosen one. Let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video. Yes, chosen one, make it a point to keep on smiling. I'm telling you, there are brighter days that are coming your way, right? Great, so make it a point to smile. Yes, chosen one, you read the title of this video. Oh yeah, you are starving them and they are mad. Yes, you are starving them and they are dying because you are now so much informed and you know how these monitoring spirits, how they act, how they survive, how they live yes you understand that there are monitoring spirits that are here to kill to steal and to destroy and such monitoring spirit operates by information that you share with them by information that you give to them and knowing this you stop serving them and they felt being starved so they are dying i'm telling you there are monitoring spirits that feed on blood i'm telling you these are red type of monitoring spirit they are responsible for causing accidents they are responsible for premature death they are responsible for causing people to have a short lifespan here on earth. Yes, and you having knowledge of these, you are now starving them because that is what they feed on. They feed on blood of human beings. Yes, true information that you share with them, then they become jealous, envious, and hate. And they try to take the life of someone or yourself or a member of your family or your loved ones. And you have understanding of this. So you now learn to keep your issues to yourself, your good news, you keep them to yourself. And I tell you, they are starving because they thrive on the information that you feed them with. You understand that there are monitoring spirits that are black. And these monitoring spirits, what they do is that they bury the stars, the glories, the destiny, the good destinies of great and mighty people yes they bury it they cover it up they use evil veil to cover it up so that the stars of people will not shine and you are aware of their evil deceptive schemes and tactics when they get information about what you're doing how your children are excelling in life how you yourself you are doing great in life how your husband or your fiance or whoever is doing great in life or how you yourself you becoming successful in life they become envious and jealous they are here to kill to steal and to destroy they don't like good things so when they realize that good things are coming they start to get to you and when you share information about your good stuff, the good things, the good news in your life with them, then they say, okay, we will see. We shall see. And then they send your information that you share with them to their evil headquarters. And then they try to bury, cover your glory, your stars, your brighter destiny. Oh yes. 
So now, knowing this, you starve them with information. You don't give them information, the needed information that they need. You don't. And I tell you, they are starving to death. They are dying. Yes, to someone. You never lack understanding of things of the spirit. You have the understanding that this monitoring spirit of whatever type comes into your life by offering you help or by coming to support you or they will act as if they need help from you. They will come in your life as loved ones, as friends. Yes, that is how they troop into your life. And you are so much informed about this. So you don't allow just anybody into your life to get close to you. Yes, you see true people. You can figure people out and see them for who they are. And you treat them accordingly. This is starving them. When you see that mm, this person has evil monitoring spirit, you don't allow them in your homes, in your houses. You don't allow them in your workplaces. Yes. And this is a way of starving them. And they are starved. And they are dying. Because when you stop serving, feeding the vampire with blood, the vampire will eventually pass out, die. Because that is what they really thrive on. That is what they survived on. That is what helps them to grow. To become bigger and you know in this you hold it there you said no I'm not allowing this to happen anymore you keep on starving them and they are mad they are dying I'm telling you chosen one chosen one being quiet being silent is strength it's very powerful Keep on being used to silence. Silence is not weakness. It is an energetic protection. In other words, it is a spiritual protection that you are giving to yourself to drive away, to prevent this monitoring sp spirits of killing, stealing, destruction, destroying and causing confusion in your cycle in your life drive them away through silence you starve them through silence you stop feeding them through silence you stop serving them with the needed nutritional information that they need to thrive to destroy you to steal from you to kill, to cause confusion in your household. I'm telling you, your silence is powerful. It is a form of protection. Yes, it makes you unpredictable. It makes these evil ones not to know what you are up to, your intentions. Yes, your intentions and these is a way of starving them and they are dying because they have nothing to use against you chosen one move in silence move in silence continue to move in silence it is a spiritual protection it is an energetic protection against outside negative evil spirits deceptive evil spirits outside negative energies that fight dreams goals 
ambitions, purpose, mission in this life. I'm telling you, the people who greatly succeed in this life are the people who know how to be quiet, to be silent when they are up to something, when they are doing something. These are the dangerous kind of people. Empty barrels always make the loudest noise. The greatest people, strongest people, spiritually sound people, they don't make noise. A river that is very deep to the core looks very calm, peaceful. You will not see where it is flowing from and where it is flowing to. And that makes it very dangerous. If you dare dive in, you will drown. You will sink. That's it. Be like that deep river. It's a way of starving these evil ones. It's a way of you to stop feeding them with needed information about your life. I'm telling you. Parrots talk way loud, way too much. But they cannot fly so high the eagle doesn't make much noise but flies so high into a more higher altitude yes chosen ones let's be like the eagle let's be like the eagle the lion doesn't make much noise. The lion always, all the time, when it has a target, want to get something, it goes slowly but surely, slowly but surely, and upon getting to the target, boom, it dies on it and grab it and get hold of it. Let's be like lions, like the eagle, and not like the parrots that makes so much noise. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the bird that always make noise in the forest is always being killed by hunters. The animals in the bush that always keep making noise are being trapped, hunt, killed by hunters. Because through that, the hunter gets information about them. That this bird is on this tree. This bird is here. Oh, Father God, thank you for this wisdom. This animal is making noise here. So, let me go slowly, slowly, and upon getting to it, bushum, bushum, it's been killed. Yes, I'm telling you. You know why? The tortoise is slow, but most of the time, lives very long. The tortoise doesn't make noise oh yes and has a shield of protection I'm telling you that's it chosen one making noise talking all the time right it's a way of bragging and when the fall is coming Talking too much, set in. Pride, set in. Arrogance, set in. So, you see the person talking too much, talking too much. And then the evil ones 
will be like, okay, you've brought yourself. We shall see. We will see. And then they pick up such information and use it against you. I'm telling you, silence is golden. Silence is strength. Silence is powerful. Silence is wisdom. Silence is an energetic protection or spiritual protection. Silence makes you attractive. Silence makes you way more dangerous. Silence saves you from a whole lot. Yes, Joshua. So continue to keep on being mysterious through silence, through stoicism. You know, be, 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 be used to what you're going through. I'm telling you, stoicism is one way to stop these outside negative energies, demons. That's gets to us. Stoicism. Yes, if you are not stoic, whatever information about yourself, you'll be sharing it with people. Either you are too happy, you start to talk, 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 talk. I want this. I have this. I've got this. Uh, yes, I passed this. Yes, I bought this. Yes, I'm traveling. Yes, I built this. Yes, I have this business. Yes, I, I have this um, a beautiful wife. This um, handsome man. This rich man. This rich wife. This, this. You are too happy and you begin to expose yourself. Give information. Feed the evil ones with things they want to hear. And they use it against you. Yes. If you are not stoic, when you are being afflicted with some sickness, disease, you start to complain because you want human sympathy. Oh, it is paining me. It is paining me here. It is paining me there. I'm sick. I'm dark. Yes. And then they know that mm, this is a weakness. Let's put more fuel in it and light it. So that it burns him, it burns her once and for all. I'm telling you. Silence and being stoic, being used to pain and not complaining, knowing that nothing lasts forever, will save you a whole lot. If you believe in God, right, and you understand that all things are working together for your good. No matter what you're facing, you're going through, you will remain serene, peaceful, quiet, very calm, and rather go on your knees and cry on God. Pray to God. Make your request known to God because only Him knows how to Make a way where there seems to be no way. Only he knows how to turn situations, events, circumstances, people to favor you, to help you. I'm telling you, chosen one, don't be feeding these evil ones with information. Either you are too happy, you are too sad, going through something. Silence is the way out. I'm telling you. I'm not saying if you needed help from professionals, from counselors who will help you, you shouldn't give them the needed information. Those people are being taught to keep um, things that are confidential. Yes, the professionals will not go out there talking about whatever that you share with them. I'm telling you, chosen ones. 
you are starving them. So continue to starve them with information. Don't let them know what you are up to. No. Don't let it be through you. Don't let it be through you that they will destroy you. Yes. If they find it out themselves, fine. But don't expose your own self. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.